Hello and welcome RC Shim on the field and right before I do a few more flights with my wing I want to talk about the Speedy B, the F7 version 3 with ESC and all-in-one and all the wireless features so I run very very quick through the specs if you want to have an extensive video on the specs and what this thing uh, can and so forth uh, check out either Mad's Tech review, uh, it's, it's quite uh, thorough as you know him. I've also watched Falcon Red and me, I'm just your average guy that is not very good at soldering and who likes the aspect of the plug and play style of this thing. So let's jump right into this video. So if you just want to know all the specs, I'm sure you can find the web page yourself. Nonetheless, I will ex uh, show you the specs here in a little box. Meanwhile, this is a close-up of the ESC and of the flight controller. It's pretty beefy, the ESC board alone. It got a heatsink, that's nice. The solder pads are large enough even for me. The main power lead connector is pretty nice. A true 50 amp ESC, so it should be enough for larger or more power hungry copters. What I like most about the flight control though is the backside. We have a lot of plugs so you can plug in everything and you get a lot of cables. Go over through the, the few notes that I made. 3 to 6S of course. This thing has a 512 megabyte black box. You can set everything up wirelessly flash faster. I don't know if this is, yeah, for those of you who flash their flight controls each and every day. You got a built-in battery checker, so well, that's nice. <laughs> okay, it's, it's really getting crowded here on the flight field, so I hurry up and this will also benefit you, so you don't get an uh, ages-long video. I would like to install this on a fat old copter which had NASA on it, and I'm curious to see how these modern flight controls work. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.